Hi, today we're solving problem 50. The prime 41 can be written as the sum of 6 consecutive primes. So 41 is 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 11 plus 13. This is the longest sum of consecutive primes that adds to a prime below 100. The longest sum of consecutive primes below 1000 that adds to a prime contains 21 terms and is equal to 953. We need to find a prime below 1 million, which can be written as the sum of the most consecutive primes. So let's go over and solve this. The first thing I'm going to do is pre-calculate all of the primes below 1 million. So I'm going to create a val all primes. I'm going to use the utilSieve method here. So I can do util.sieve, and we're going to go up to a million now that I've calculated all of the primes, what I also need to do is calculate all of the sorted primes. So I'm going to create a val sorted primes is going to be all of the primes to an array and sorted. So the way I'm going to be solving this is I'm going to increment the starting index of which prime we start with, and I'm going to continuously add numbers to create a all of the possible sums starting from that number and see which one of those is prime. I need to keep track of the best one I found so far. So I'm going to keep a var max. And here I'm just going to create a tuple negative one, negative one. What this is going to represent is the number and the length of all of the primes that added up to that number. Now all I have to do is Iterate over all of the starting indexes. Now, one really nice thing in Scala is I can take an index, and sequences actually have a method called indices. So I can take my all primes and get the indices. Or actually, not all primes. Here we want sorted primes, because we're going to be getting elements out of that. And I can get the indices out of this, which gives me a range of all of the indices for that sequence. Now, given an index, I want to continuously add the next numbers and see which one of those are prime. Now, the way I'm going to implement this is by using a till recursive helper method. So I'm going to create a def helper, which is going to keep track of the current so far, as well as the length of this, how the length of the sequence of consecutive primes, which add up to current. So here what we're going to do is actually um, we're going to use length as what our new length should be. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do in helper is calculate our new current. So I'm going to create a val new cur is going to be our current plus the sorted primes at our initial index, which is index one plus our length so far. And in this case, length is going to start out as something like two. So current would be the value I want and length would be two. So we need to add the sorted prime as at the starting index plus our length minus one. And that'll give us an element right after index one where our length is two. So this gives us the sum with that length. Now what I wanna do is given our new current, I want to see is it better than the maximum I have so far. But before we do that, we need to first set a balance because what I would do after that is iterate on helper, but we need a termination case. So I'm actually going to wrap this in a termination case. We want to keep on adding numbers while our current is less than 1 million. Because we want to find a prime below 1 million. And the second thing we want to do is we want to make sure that whatever we're going to add next is within our bounds. So we need to check that this is less than the length of our sorted primes. So we're going to make sure that whichever next number we would be adding 
should be within the bounds of what where we're going to get that from. Now, if this works, then I can go ahead and do this. I'm first going to calculate the new value. I'm going to check if the new length, so if my length, actually I don't need to do new curve, if my length is greater than the max length, which is the second value of our max. And we need to do a second check to make sure that our new current itself is prime. So we're going to use util dot util dot is prime new current. So if we have a longer sequence and our new current is prime, then what we want to do is set our maximum to be our new current and the length. Otherwise, we don't do anything. And at the end, we're just going to recurse and helper with our new current and the length plus one. Now, in our iteration, what we want to do is for every starting index, we want to initialize helper. So what we're going to do is our initial current is going to be the value at sorted primes at that index. So I'm going to do sorted primes at our initial index and our length, which is what length we want to calculate next is going to be two. Now here, the Scala compiler is complaining, saying that the recursive method needs a result type. So I can add that here. We're not returning anything. We're just doing units since we're storing that global variable here. And at the end, all we want to do is print on the number from our max. So I can go ahead and run this. And we get our answer. So that's it for problem 50. I'll see you next time when you solve problem 51.